Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 44 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emilziwa Gamer. So I continue working on the immersive engineering island. I basically moved the biodiesel production back here and I made sure that the output would be in the back for the uh, tank of biodiesel and this is a concept display of how I want my power to be coming from the roof so that when all of my wires are passed I'm just going to be able to connect to any wire relay on the roof and power down a machine. For the bees uh, I'm starting to get a bit discouraged because I'm not getting the queens that I'm wanting. I'm getting some good queens but like I need a jungle queen for sure and I haven't gotten either it's a question of luck and I haven't gotten lucky yet see that's another force pristine Ooh, a pristine ender okay that's actually very good I'm happy about that one mystical drone a mystical princess mystical is just a joke now look at all of these mystical so I'm thinking that I might need to find a jungle biome right now we're in a forest biome and I'm thinking I'm going to need to find a jungle biome and set up the bee attractor in a jungle biome to get my jungle bee or else we'll never be able to make the wisp. Now as for the apiaries you know what this is the forest one yeah okay so as for the apiaries I need to put a couple more one in but I've been waiting because basically I want to use industrial apiaries. The other thing that I did is, if you can look at this monstrosity, I've basically automated the um, uh, seed production. So I get the pumpkin from back there, from back there, sorry, and then they get move into this auto crafter where I blocked all of the slot except this one, and then the seed goes into this item hopper and chest and hopper and into the squeezer which is supposed to work at max power, but I'm just not feeding it enough power, I believe. I might be okay because as you see, it's never going down to zero, but I'm not sure. And improving the wire should improve things. I also need to make a second squeezer so I can make way more uh, rain. Come on. Can't believe how much time I get rain these days. I, if you guys know of anything in the mods that I've unlocked to date to stop rain from ever occurring, I would love to get that. So please leave a comment. Anyway, what I was saying is that I want to modify the setup so that I can have a, a setup where I have three or four squeezer pushing um, seed oil into a tank attached to an ender tank that I can then bring anywhere I want because I feel like I'm going to need a lot of it. That being said, uh, two more things before we start. Well, one more thing. There's so many things I want to do, and I'm having power problem. I want to start wiring my whole base with the AF wire relay and with some AF wire, these, so that I can move massive amount of power in every section where I want to use said massive amount of power. I want to set up an AF transformer to use that massive amount of power and transform it to HV. And where are my HV coil? Hmm, right here. So I can use HV to which is the maximum amount of power that by wire we can carry to a machine. But that being said, my production is all dependent on this oil generation, which is kind of good, but it's not like super amazing. So I'm still going to use it, but I want to put this in a place where I'm producing all of my power, like in a power room, and already a little bit of lag. Oh, I'm a bit, I've been having a lot of problem lately, and I've tried so many reinstalls, so many setup. All I can do right now is beg Pixel to do an update to the pack. So that being said, I want to set up a power room, and I want to get a steam power, because a steam turbine generator is going to provide us a crazy amount of power. And we saw that making this uh, distilled water is not a problem. So I'm gonna, episode 45 is going to be my first episode of, that's going to be a big time lapse in a long while. And what I'm going to do in that time lapse is that I'm going to put a roof, well, or a, like just an arc so I can put some of these relay up top. And I'm gonna do a power a setup back there and I'm gonna bring power everywhere to my island but I'm not gonna set up the power because these machine I'm gonna prepare everything from it for it but I'm gonna keep it to assemble it with you guys because it's an amazing machine 
So next episode will be uh, a start where I'm going to introduce what I'm going to do during the episode. And oh, a meadow princess. Oh, ignoble stuck. So I don't really care. Uh, I'm going to set up the um, I'm going to get everything ready so that I can just start the episode 46 with the setup of the power and then get back with the bees. And that being said, in between, uh, during my big time lapse, I'm going to keep looking in here to see what kind of bees I'm getting and I'm going to be using my apiary to the maximum. But today is going to be a mega crafting episode because I prepared all of my bronze and I'm ready and I'm going to be able to craft all of the force mutation, all the automable apiary, all the simpler gene and the creating life. I'm going to get all of this done and I'm also going to make the bee analyzer because the bee analyzer need honey and I was kind of waiting on accruing some honey. That being said, if we look at stamp, which was the last quest that we need to finish, we were waiting for three honey drop. So I'm going to just start with finishing this right now. So I'm going to grab three honey. Oh, three, not five. So, oh, I can't put it back in. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to go grab three paper and three copper. And we're going to make that stamp because that quest has been annoying me and I've been wanting to get rid of it for the longest time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a stack of this, a stack of aluminum, a stack of tin, a stack of iron, and a stack of gold, and a stack of redstone, and a stack of glowstone. And I'm going to put everything in here because see, that's where I have all my bronze and all of my bronze gear. And that's where I'm going to be doing my crazy crafting, my big session of crafting. So that's where I'm going to have everything. To be fair, uh, I used to do a thing where I would put a list of everything that I need and I really just needed 630 bronze because everything else, if you don't have the rest of the material, if you don't have the tin or the gold or the iron by now, like there is a big problem with what you've been doing in your game. So there was nothing major that I actually needed. So let's just make sure that I'm making the right step because I really want to close this quest line. So life in the forest, life in the forest. I need to make the stamp to N and this is stamp to N. So perfect. This, oh, it's detected. And then I need to make a letter. So letter right here. Oh, I need a propolis. When you think you're done, you're never done. So I'm going to have to still wait for the propolis to be able to do this. Although I don't even know if these bees can give me a propolis. I'm really not sure about that. So my metal princess is still ignoble. I'm just going to put it through the bee house again. And let's just go back here and can start my crafting. So in what order are we going to do this? Well, I'm thinking of going from left to right from earlier to like first line, second line, which is kind of good because force mutation, uh, we're going to have to produce mutagen and that takes a long time. So first we need a mutagen producer. So I'm going to just come here and I'm going to search for mutagen, muta. So mutagen producer right here. We need these mutagen tank. I know that we're going to need three of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the three right now. And when I say no, is that I've studied everything that I needed. So it's, oh, I hate that you have to clear the grid, not to the inventory, but to yourself. But anyway, so I know that I'm going to need three. So I'm going to make three of these. One, two, three, and I'm going to keep those on. And whatever I need, I'm just going to put in my head. Then the power module, let, I'm just checking my list because if I'm going to do it, I might as well do them all at the same time. I'm going to need 12 power module for my whole crafting. So 12 power module and grab all of that in my hand. Then if I go back to this, I'm going to need sturdy casing. I forgot to grab the sturdy casing. So let's go back here. I'm not sure I have enough sturdy casing. Uh, and that I didn't, I think I need 11 and I have three. Perfect. So let's, I, the number of bronze that I put is the bronze to make all of the sturdy casing. So technically I could have just have done all of the sturdy casing. So I need 11, that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And I can grab all of that bronze. Perfect. So now I should be able to do this. Yes. So that's one mutagen producer, which we're going to make sure is detected. Yeah. So now we need a mutatron and you want to do this 
in order and i'm not joking you really want to do this in order oh i need diamond quartz and nether pearl so diamond 56 diamond no oh i don't have enough diamond so I'm going to have to clean some stone. So we're going to have to choose in which order we're doing that. You know what? I never thought that the diamond would be my problem right now. This is kind of sad. Okay. So these genetic, genetic processor, I actually need 14. So I'm going to make the 11 that I can and I'm missing three. So I'm going to have to get back to that later, but we're going to get far before we're stuck. Then these B receptacle, oh, I need some weighted gold plate. The B receptacle, I need eight. So I'm going to need eight of these weighted pressure plate, like so. And then I can go back here and I can make eight B receptacle. Seven, eight. Perfect. So now I can make the mutatron. Uh, sorry, the mutatron right here. And I'm just going to make one and make sure that it gets detected. And that's important because then we want to do the advanced mutatron. And the advanced mutatron uses a mutatron. And we're, once we have an advanced, there's no reason for us to use a basic. So we're just going to make the advance and use the advance, and we're done. We're going to need some genetic labware. Genetic labware, like so, which is very inexpensive. Ah, I don't even have one diamond. Urgh. You know what? I didn't think that this was going to be my life today, but let's just do this quickly. It's a good thing that it's easy to do now because this is kind of annoying and I have a grinder. So let's just, let's just, just, just do this quickly like this. And you know what? Let's do the second layer right now. It's a good thing that it goes fast now with these things. And oh, my inventory is so full that it, this is actually a problem. So let's go back here, get rid of everything that we can. Let's go back here. Dirty coal, dirty garnet, dirty dark gem, uh, dirty opal, paired out. Okay, so nothing in here that I need. I still haven't gotten my diamonds. Oh, this is not over. I thought that, why didn't it break everything? Is there a range on this that I didn't know of? And it's still not broken, so I can still finish this. Perfect. So now it's just a question of putting everything away. So let's put everything that I can away. Dirty diamonds. So I'm going to be good. Dirty inkalite, topaz. I don't need anything else. So let's just make some space. We're going to try to grab everything that we can. And I don't have my uh, my magnet because I put it for ooh, for recharging. And I just haven't cleaned it. One thing that I should have done, and I wish I had, is that when I built this wall, I should have added basic drawer for every one of these kind of thing, because then I could have just clicked like this and everything would have gone in the drawer always. But you know, foresight is 2020. I should have thought about it back then. I didn't, so now every time I do this, I kind of have to manually input things. So let's just go back here. I'm really sorry that I'm wasting time on that when I just had a time lapse because technically I should have taken care of that in the time lapse but I really thought that I had produced a lot of diamond and that diamond was no longer an issue considering how rare the diamond is though it, it kind of makes sense that I'm not okay because see I only have 26 diamond from this whole stone production and that was a lot of stone that I end up transforming and let's go one of the thing that I wanted to set up oh okay so when I'm doing this, one of the things that I wanted to set up was a, um, there's a pipe, I don't remember her name, but there's a pipe, I think, that picks up items from the world. Or I could just have used a, um, I don't remember the name of that either, but there's a, this thing that I've used up here to collect the drop. I could have set that up so that when everything falls, it gets all picked up. So dirty tallow, I'm just going to do these and we're going to be able to continue. So let's come back here, grab a bucket. And this is like a little detour on the way that I was not expecting. Oh, so let's get all of this. Done. Oh, the water is being very good to us. We did almost everything on one bucket. That's, that's kind of crazy. 
Okay, so that was not having a big, uh, a big loss of time. I'm really surprised about that. Let's grab all of this, and I'm just going to get rid of the Chaos Essence right here and the Emerald right there because we don't need the Emerald. Oh, we don't need the Emerald. So we can actually finish all of our crafting. So at the end of the day, this is a good thing. So let's do this. I still need some glass pane. I made two stacks this time because I was kind of annoyed at having to go back to it. And I'm going to make... I have enough, so I'm going to make 64 because that's a stack and that's the max I can put in the machine. But that is one quest completed. So let's grab this loot chest. So the mutagen producer creates mutagen from redstone, glowstone, uranium, and yellorium and can be used in the mutatron and advanced mutatron for breeding bees without any special requires. Okay, but yet with a small chance of killing the bee. So there's a risk, but I think that the risk is so low that we don't really actually have to worry about this. And although I want to continue the crafting, I'm going to go set up the mutagen right now and put some uh, glow, uh, redstone in it, which is my least expensive material, because it takes a while and I want to get it started. So I'm going to need... Uh, please tell me I'm not out of relay. So I need an LV... No, I'm not going to need a wire relay. I need an LV wire connector and an LV wire. And I'm just going to... I don't... You know what? I've just thought about this. How much coal do I have in here? You know what? I'm going to put it right here so that I don't have to do anything special. And I'm just going to put some coal in it. I don't want to collect, connect it because it's going to be drawing the power that the bee attractor needs. So I don't want to slow my bee attractor production. And what I'm going to do is use a hopper. And let's go back here. One, two, three. And I'm just going to hopper some, um, some charcoal in it so that, no, wrong setup. <laughs> Let me break this and grab everything that was in it. And that's basically the hopper goes here <laughs> and the charcoal goes in there, which means that we're now oh, another stack. I'm just going to grab the other stack. So we're now producing mutagen. And as you can see, every one redstone, and this takes a long time, see 1%, 2% because I'm not giving it enough power. So I might, if I wasn't worried about powering the bee attractor and everything else, I might even give it more power by, oh, this is kind of cool. And, oh, what a waste. So everything went kind of well, and then it was just kind of wasted because there's not always one bee being produced. So another Mado Princess Ignoble, it's kind of hard to get a good one. Forest Princess, Pristine, and these I get Pristine, no problem. Oh, probably because I'm in the forest. But see, this one is Ignoble, so I don't care. Valiant Joan, Modest Joan. Oh, Imod oh it's Ignoble. Oh, derp. That, I, that was kind of good, but in the end it wasn't good. Sorry, so let's going back to this. So now technically uh, I could, once I get enough uh, mutagen just put that right next to it and it would just grab directly from this you know what i'm going to connect it also i i just need it to have more power and this is not cutting it for me because this is going to take a while it's also one of the reason why i want to get it started so quickly because as soon as you start it the higher chance you have of getting everything ready when you're at that step and now it's accruing power faster than it's producing so we're good as, as you can see, this is still going to be a very, very slow process. It's even slower when you're, uh, when you're having another little bug and you're lagging. This is really annoying. And really annoying is that I cannot find the source of the lag because after now I must have spent like two or three hours trying to find where the lag was from. Okay, so that quest is done. Next one in order is Automatable Apiary. So that wants us to make an apiary and all of those uh, upgrades. So first I'm going to make, I'm just going to look for apiary and I'm going to make a, I'm just going to make one for now because I don't know how many I can produce with the stuff I have. And what I figured is that I'm probably going to want a second or third one and I can do all of that in my big time lapse if I need to. 
So then for the upgrade, to the, do all of these, we need upgrade frame. And from my list of what I wanted to get, uh, if I remember correctly, I think I wanted 10 upgrade frame. Or maybe even a bit more. I'm just I'm just going to make... Uh, no, 3 is not enough. I was going to say I'm just going to make like 10 for now. Uh, can I make some more? So now I'm out of what? I'm out of redstone. I had grabbed a stack. Am I out of... Yes, I'm out of redstone. Hmm. Things are not going so well in my crafting life, but five is enough to make the one that we need. We need an automation and a lifespan. So let's start with automation. Automation, uh, lifespan, automation, whichever one I find first. Uh, lifespan is right here. Oh, I need some fermented spider eyes. So where are my spider eyes? I'm going to need two. And I need sugar to ferment it. Where's my sugar? I have some here. One, two. So let's make fermented spider eyes. Oh, does it need mushroom also? I always forget that part of the recipe. So where are my mushrooms? Right here. There's always a quick solution to everything if you think about where you put your stuff. So fermented spider eyes, like so. And now I have extra mushrooms that I'm going to get rid of. So this is the um, lifespan upgrade, which makes the lifespan of the uh, of the bee higher. And you can put up to four. So I can make more of those, but for now, I just want to complete the craft that I need for the, uh, the quest. Oh, I really do need redstone. I shouldn't have... You know what? I'm going to cheat. I For the crafting, I'm pretty sure that 32 will be enough. And as you can see, we still haven't used half of that. So there's no point really. I can make more redstone in between in the time lapse and just use that one. So let's go back here and we're going to make not the light upgrade. We're going to make the automation upgrade. We're going to make just one. What's the next upgrade? Production and genetic stabilizer. So production right here, genetic stabilizer. Oh, no, I don't have royal jelly. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to automate my apiary nor complete the quest. Great, 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 great. Not really, but okay. What's the next one that I needed? I needed the genetic stabilizer upgrade that I'm trying to find. It's right here. So the genetic stabilizer upgrade is one that you need when you're you're changing the gene setup of your... Uh, your bees because technically I could take a bee that needs to be in the nether and I could implant a different uh, gene to say no 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 what you need is desert so that I'd be able to not be in the nether but there's also this that you can do so like there's two paths which I never really understood there's an hell emulation update and the hell emulation update is definitely one I'm going to make because I'm going to want to uh, craft the elish bee I need them for the what kind of propolis? There's a kind of propolis that I need, and I'm going to need that. So when I'm going to do that, I'm of course going to want to use a hellish update so that it doesn't request anything of me, like so that I don't need the uh, four lapis, so that I don't need to be in the nether. I, I don't want to go back to the nether right now. The only reason I would want to go back to the nether is to find a fortress, and from the fortress is to find a... Um, a blaze spawner. It's really something I'm thinking of doing. And oh, that's already done. Whew, thank, good thing I didn't redo it. So what I need is this one. So I should really go to the nether to get that uh, to get that. And maybe during my big time lapse, depending on how well things goes. If thing goes really well, I might just end up doing that and going to the nether. I was going to mention that in the beginning of that episode though, because if I'm going to do that. I'm for sure going to let you know that I'm doing that. Okay, so that's done. And that wasn't required to unlock anything else, so I'm kind of good. So now I can do the simpler gene copying. You can collect random genes from bees, copy them, add them to other bees, or add them to a template. So let's do the gene sampler. So gene, uh, where's the gene sampler machine? You know what, gene sampler. Just don't want to... Oh, we're going to need one of these, I know already. So let's just make one of these. 
we're going to need a genetic template. So let's make one of these. Those are two things that I know by heart from the quest that we need. So I need one genetic sampler. And if I go back here, see blank gene, genetic template, genetic labware, we already have genetic sampler. So now we need the genetic uh, imprinter, imprinter, this one, like so, one. And the next one that we need, just please recognize it. The next one is the genetic transposer. And that's going to be a quest completed. And unless there's a big request, I really have no interest in doing that quest line, uh, doing gene manipulation because eh, it's, it's if, so let me put it another way. I'm not being fair. If the bees were going to give me something amazing, if I was going to be able to get diamonds from the bees or stuff like that, I would invest in making better bees and making them amazing. But the bees, they're not going to give us much of anything in this mod pack. Like, they, they only serve as something that you need to craft to move forward. So I don't see why I would waste my time on that. Creating life. With a full genetic template, protein, and liquid DNA, you can create a bee. So that's to be able to create a bee. I, I might, like, if I end up never getting a jungle bee, maybe that could be something I do. I, I'm just thinking about it out loud now. But... I am going to have to do some research because I've never created a bee. So I really have no idea how that would work. DNA extractor. So now DNA extractor. Let's make that one. And the last machine, genetic replicator. So genetic replicator. Like I told you, oh, I still need one more genetic processor. And I have the diamond, so good thing. The genetic processor are used in some of the templates, so that's why I needed more than what, what I seem to need for my crafting. So that's another loot chest, and that's another quest line, well, another quest completed. So let's bring all of that in. Oh yes, last episode, completely forgot to open my loot, so I'm just going to take those. Rain again. What a wonderful idea. Hopefully it's going to be night soon, and I'm going to be able to get rid of it. So this is done. And this is one of the unlocks. So the next unlock is a true collector, but for a true collector, we need phosphor, which is kind of complicated to get, and we need some of that pollen, uh, propolis, so I'm not going to be able to do that right now. Uh, analyzing B, the portable analyzer is unlocked, so we're going to do that. Analyzing. The portable analyzer gives you more information about whatever you're analyzing, provided that you have any drops in it. So the an analyzer, analyzer, right here needs to be made in a carpenter four tin two glass a diamond so four tin two glass four tin one diamond and what was the other thing two redstone yeah and two redstone one two i'm gonna dump all of this back in that crafting chest because this is all the this is what I want to do from now on. I want to keep a stack of every kind of metal and diamond and redstone in here to be able to easily craft whatever I want to be uh, easily craftable. So let's come in here. Oh, my three other intricate circuits are ready. So now let's set that up. One, two. One, two, three, four. Oh, I have a lot of redstone here. I'm going to just grab all of you because right now I need redstone more than I need the other stuff. And this is now producing my portable analyzer. And let, let me just check on my bees again. Ooh, I got another. Ooh, this is a pristine. Was it always a pristine? I'm not sure. Uh, so I have another honeycomb. And right here, is this completed? No, this is not completed. What do I have in here? Not a single princess. Forest Princess again, Metal Princess, but ignoble stock. Ugh. I want the I want the Metal Princess pristine. This is getting annoying. Let's throw all of this in here. I'll just rearrange everything prop in the way that I like later. Now anyway, I have this thing in here that I didn't want, so I'm already stuck with something I don't want. Let's put this in the centrifuge, and this is ready. And that's why we need the. Um, I'm going to show you why we need the honey and how to use this. We're going to need a lot more honey, though, so I can't wait. So 
This is another thing I wanted to say. When you get an item, there's always a chance that the comb will produce a second item. Uh, if you don't get a first item on the first run, though, the comb is destroyed. So I got something, and I got something else. So I got two things here, and I have the bee analyzer ready, and now I have three honey drops. So now if I look, I want to see my ender princess, okay? So I open the portable analyzer, and I put the ender princess in here, and then I put one honey drop, which analyzes it, and now it tells me some detail. So it says that the lifespan is longer, the production is slower, the pollination is slowest, the flower type is end, so I need some end stone. It's not an end flower. Some of them just requires a type of stone. The fertility is one, the territory is large, and the effect is end. I think that if I give it another... Um, huh, no. Oh, okay, so no. I thought that it, you could analyze it further, but no, this one we can just do that. So climate, it wants cold, humidity, it wants normal. Diurnal, yes. Nocturnal, yes. Tolerant flyer, no. Cave dwelling, say no, not in cave. It possibly makes a mysterious comb. Uh, these are the possible mutation, but I haven't discovered them. So until I discover them, but technically they are in JEI. And here, this is a classification, which is this guy went or girl went through a lot of work setting that up. Like you can see that he took a lot of pride and pleasure in making that mod. It's just unfortunate that it doesn't give a lot in return. It doesn't give enough in return for most people to just play with it for other reasons than fun. So we're done with all of the crafting that I wanted to do. Uh, oh, I didn't claim that quest. Let's claim that quest. Let's just look around quickly. Uh, this I'm still stuck. This I'm still stuck. The wax I'm still stuck. All of this is dependent on getting the right bees and moving forward. What about the grafter? The grafter has a 100% chance of giving you sapling from leaves. Okay. Uh, I've always found it funny that for uh, this mod was a mix of two things. I know it's called forestry, but it has bees and it has the trees so that you can actually produce trees and everything. Ooh, I should be able to craft that. That's very inexpensive. As long as there isn't a second step. And this went back in here instead of here. So that's another quest done. Let's grab that and back. What else can we do? I think we can do the escritoire. The escritoire will allow you to enhance the breed chance of bees through a simple puzzle that you can make easier by adding drones to it, of course. This only works if you are breeding them the normal way. So we're going to use the mutagen, so I don't really need that. It would be if we tried to breed them together normally. But we're not going to use that. We're still going to make the escritoire if it's not hard. So escritoire. It's one, two, three, four, five, six plank in our carpenter with oil. So let's grab six plank. And we're just going to go back there and do that. And I'm still waiting for night to get rid of the rain. That's kind of annoying. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. Is it? No, okay. Anyone? Maybe because... I'm hoping that it's just because I'm missing seed oil because that would be kind of annoying. So let's just grab a bucket. And... Oh, where am I going to grab my seed oil from? Because this is... See, I don't... I'm not putting the oil in a different place, so I'm kind of stuck acquiring oil when I want to. So let me just break this for now. Hopefully it means that the oil is going to start accruing in here. 20, 30. Okay, so it's accruing. One thing, one thing that I discovered by doing some research. Holy, I was, it's crazy. So if I go to oil, right, no, this one, seed oil. Look at this. Cherries produce 50 millibucket per walnut produce 180 chestnut 220 for the same operation so this is i completely forgot this is how i wanted to start my episode let me go back here and let me grab you've guessed it three emerald and i'm going to come back here and i want a chestnut tree 
Let me go through all of these seeds. I should have gone the other way. It would probably have been faster. Whoa. So, cocoa, plum, cherry, apple, avocado, walnut. It's chestnut. So, no, no, gooseberry, chestnut. Bye. Let me just make sure again. Oil, chestnut, 220. And, and <clears throat> if my research is right, if my research is right, let me just grab this. Hello, let me just grab this, I said, and a chest, and a chest right here. <coughs> I'm going to move this to a proper place if it does work. <sighs> and yes, it does work. So let's just go through that crazy fast. Just want to produce some. And no, so that's only a wood. I don't know what's the drop rate of chestnut though. So to be fair, this might not be good. But so that's what I read somewhere that someone got one of each of the trees and put it on a bonsai pot, all of the fruit and the type of trees and just let it go with a growth ring around or something like that around and just let it go crazy so that it would produce a lot of stuff. You know what? I want to just do something quickly. Oh, well, that's a plant matter. Does plant matter work on this? Yes. And finally, we have a chestnut. So technically, now, if I come back here, and it's night, so I could go sleep. My squeezer, do I have another squeezer? That's my only squeezer. That's a centrifuge. What? You know what? I need more squeezers, so I might as well make another squeezer. So for a squeezer, oh, it's that easy. Yes, I'm definitely making an extra squeezer. So let's come back here, and let's make... No, back here, let's make an extra squeezer. I got to test this because if that works, that's definitely going to be worth my time. Put that right here, put that in the squeezer, and let's see how many it gives me. While we're waiting for this, we'll go sleep. And after we've slept and the rain is gone, we're going to be able to test that. So let's go back here, and I don't know if this works. I just want to try that. So I'm right here, and I have it in my hand, and I, it doesn't seem to be growing faster. Oh! Does it? No, it doesn't. So that's not worth it. But I have three more chestnut, which is amazing, that I can bring back here. And how much does that give? Oh, just 150! What? But why? This is... This is not the real chestnuts? what okay so 150 is still better so see walnut now is better if i had known i was going to get the right one i would have invested in walnut but when you think about it right now and you know come on another piece of lag but that's kind of normal because we're getting close to 40 minutes so cherry is only 50 walnut chestnut and beetroot is 10 so these three cherry walnut and chestnut are definitely worth having in a, uh, in a bonsai pot to start and produce a lot of them and just get whatever we need. Maybe it was producing faster. Maybe I don't see it and sometimes it just jump and gets produced faster. Or maybe I need to be looking at it because now it seems to be going kind of faster. I'm just not 100% sure. And two more chestnuts. So that's going to give me my bucket much faster than if I waited on the other one. So that's going to be 600, so 6, 7, 8, 9, still not enough. Oh, I have my seed oil here already anyway. So you know what, since I have my seed oil here anyway, I'm just going to reconnect this and grab it from there for the time being. And I'm going to put that in this carpenter, and that's going to give me my escritoire. Whenever this is ready though, I can still collect that oil because it's not like I'm not going to need it for something else at some point. So I'm going to put another chestnut in here. I'm still going to produce the rest of the bucket that I need. So let's put that right there. And we have the escritoire. And now I can just, let's put this in here. Voila. 
And I'm going to keep this bucket in here so that I have it for later. But that's a lot better for production. So the escritoire is done. Let's grab that loot chest. And you know what? I should have left it on the ground when I was back there. So let's put it back down oh, right here. And now oh, this is kind of cool. Place a genetic sample in the center to begin. Place more in the left slot and examine them for health. Examine specimen. Anyway, I like I said, I don't really want to go down that route. So there might not be any point in doing this. I'm going to grab that extra squeezer. What else can I complete? By having bees near trees or with a mutatron, you can breed trees. Keep in mind that the trees need to first be analyzed, and this is talking about a chestnut. So maybe that's part of the quest. Maybe that's how you get that chestnut. You get it easier. So by having bees near trees or with a mutatron, you can breed trees. So I can also breed trees in the mutatron. So chestnut sapling. Let me look at that. Sweet chestnut sapling and chestnut sapling. So maybe it's the sweet chestnut. Yes, it's the sweet chestnut sapling. Okay, so I need to make a sweet chestnut sapling. And how do I make a sweet chestnut sapling? By breeding with a 10% chance a common walnut with a, with a hill cherry or a common walnut with a silver lime. So I'm going to need a common walnut. How do you get a common walnut? You get a common walnut with a hill cherry or a silver lime. So I'm definitely going to need both of those. The silver lime you get from silver birch and apple oak. Silver birch you get... Okay, so I guess silver birch is just a birch sapling. Let me go back the, the tree. So the hill cherry is silver lime and apple oak. And apple oak is just... See, no, I don't think that the apple oak is just a standard... I don't know how to get the apple oak, so I'm not sure about that. I'm going to have to do some research because obviously when I go for apple oak, it didn't show me anything. Apple oak. So... Apple oak pollen. Okay. Apple oak sapling. No way to create it. I guess it's a void botanic miner. I am not close to that. So I don't know how I'm going to go to that. I'm going to need to make some more research. But everything else now is based on having the right bees because this is like a bee, um, a beekeeper outfit and it needs the silk. And again, if I do a quick search, silk, silk wisp right here, it's from silky propolis and silky propolis is from silky comb that you get from an exotic or an edenic or tropical. And I don't have a tropical bee. I haven't been able to get one yet. Exotic, I can get from breeding a oh, tropical and austere. So until I get a tropical, I have no way of doing this. While I was looking around, this is a forest biome, forest biome. Here I'm still in a forest biome. Forest biome still, forest hill, forest slime, forest hill slime. Just kind of looking around and I might put the bee... Um, the B, what was it called again? Wow, the B, the B attractor in different biomes to be able to see if I get some. So I got a forest or a forest ill or a forest slime or what else around? Savannah. Okay, so definitely I will try Savannah. And I have a river here. So river right here and a savanna. So that's worth noticing. Like I said, I'm going to try every single place. I'm going to have to have a remote way of carrying power and I'm going to have to uh, put the seed oil into an ender tank. For carrying the power, I just wanted to show you capacitor. So for carrying the power, I'm going to be generating some of these HV capacitor. So these HV capacitor, block of lead, not that expensive once I have lead started and I'm going to make a couple of those to make sure that I store power and you can break it and bring it with you and I don't think that it loses its power. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to make a test first, but I think that's how I'm going to be carrying my power around. Which now brings me to um, 
what I wanted to do for this episode. So I'm pretty sh like that's pretty much what I wanted to get done. I wanted to get as much of the bee quest done as possible. But now everything's a question of bee breeding, and bee breeding is dependent on having this mutagen. And I only have 200 right now, so I'm gonna have to let that machine run for a long time. And dependent on having the queen. Like I said, I'm going to. In this episode, I'm going to go in a quick time lapse now, and that quick time lapse is going to be putting the seed oil into an ender tank so I can move this everywhere and making a power, uh, like making some lead and a capacitor so I can bring the power with me somewhere else, and then setting up the bee attractor in another place. Like, uh, I'm going to definitely put oh, a sorcerer's princess, metal pris pristine. Okay, I'm happy about that one. So just put another B receptor somewhere else so that I can try and see if we have a better chance of getting our princess. I really want to find a jungle. So I might look at the loading status of my cow's Iolite and I might just end up going somewhere finding a jungle biome because I feel that the tropical is either going to be in the savanna, the ocean or the jungle um, biome. That being said, I was really sad. I did a lot of research on bees and I couldn't really find uh, any more information about the bee. Uh, ex My God, I keep forgetting the term of this. The bee attractor because the bee attractor is part of Sky Resource 2 and there isn't a lot of documentation. There's no wiki. There's no nothing. So I was kind of sad about that. Let's just quickly open all of these loot reward opium core. Engineer Skyhook, Rare Mega Loot Crate, ugh, Black Bowtie, Cartridge, Gun. Let's continue with this. A Return Home Charm. Mm, right click on a teleporter. So I haven't done the teleporter yet also, which is something that I've been wanting to do. So I might get to that. An Artifact Loot Bag and another Opium Core. So let's do these two Loot Bag. So the Artifact Loot <laughs> an Iron Pickaxe. And this rare mega loot crate gave me what? A mega loot bubble. Ace 2 and L provides strength too. Uh, okay. Oh, someone also gave me some information. I think that this can go here. Haha. -ha. So no more taking one space in my inventory. I can just put it here. So that was some very good information. I got that from uh, the Discord while talking to some people in Discord. Uh, the Discords, I've always linked the Discord in the video description. They're very useful because people are very uh, excited about this game and are finding tricks or things that are better and like telling people what are the better things that they have found. So like I said, I'm gonna go in my time lapse. I'm gonna automate my seed oil so that I can move the bee attractor somewhere else so that I can try to get the princess that I want because I'm in a forest biome and I keep getting an crazy amount of forest princess so i'm going to try with the savannah first if it doesn't work i'm going to move toward the river i'm also going to make the power and i'm going to continue setting up my island like i still want to move these back there i'm probably going to put this big tower right in the corner here so that i can have or maybe i don't want to keep it there but maybe the best is to keep it here and have the tank all three tank on the side here this I want to definitely move here because right here, if you've noticed, it's kind of my better setup of the machine that I need to craft stuff. As you've seen my setup for the uh, the press. So this I want to move here. The only thing I cannot really move right now is the pump jack because that's where it's getting my oil. So I'm definitely going to leave the pump jack there. So I'm probably, it's this is too much work to move. So I'm pretty sure that in the end, I'm going to keep that right here. And I'm going to pump the pump jack to an oil tank right here and from the oil tank right into here. And I'm going to have this pipe go above and go into three tank down here. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. I think that's the better choice. Uh, as for the distiller and the distilled water, that I'm definitely going to put back here because this is where my power is going to be set up. I'm going to set up my power generation back here and I'm going to do that in my big time lapse so i'm gonna have a small five seven minutes um start in my next episode and i'm gonna explain what i finished and what i'm going to do in my time lapse 
And then my episode 45, like I've told you, will be a mega time lapse where I'm going to get a crazy amount of things done because I'm at that point where I need to play three or four hours just to be able to unlock everything that I need to have a smooth progression. And then when we get back, we're either going to be very good on bees and start breeding them, or we're going to have to continue with Tinker because we're not ready for the bees. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!